Hi, I'm Misty Fowler, and uh, I'm a coder, and you can too. This is also known as why programming is just plain English. I have been a software developer for going on 10 years now, although I've played with code for quite a bit longer than that. Um, there's a lot of different types of code. I started at basic programming like 20 years ago. I, I wrote a loop that was really cool. Um, there are a lot of different programming languages. This is just skimming the surface of the different type of languages. And all they are is just things that you type into a computer. I mean, they aren't like learning French. The other thing about, I, I asked myself what you need to do to be a programmer when I, when I started this out. And one thing I noticed is that everybody has beards. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that, that apparently is not a requirement, even though um, all the guys do it. Um, something else that's very uh, common among programmers is that we all like our caffeine and our junk food. Um, I... <laughs> Um, one of the other things that we have in common um, is that we tend to follow these different categories. I like to think that I'm right over here in the geek category. We, we know how to dress well, generally. <laughs> um, but, but we tend to fall on one of them. Um, now, there are a few misconceptions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm a few slides ahead of myself. Um, laziness is the best quality that you can ever find in a geek. Because what we do is we work really hard to find the easiest way to do something. <laughs> Um, the, the, this is actually, the, this guy was really, really smart, and what he wrote is we, we really are lazy. Um, something that you also have to have to be a programmer is you need to be really good at logic. You need to be able to say, you know, A, B, and C and have no emotion whatsoever about it. Um, now, the one thing that's not required, math. I know they told you that math was required, and while it can be useful for some people, not a requirement. Um, I, I write programs to do my math for me. Calculators, Calculators exactly. <laughs> um, something you do need to be really good at um, is understanding, <laughs> understanding acronyms. Um, I've gotten to a point where everything's an acronym. And if I see an acronym, I have to know what it means. I have to know what it means. Kind of obsessive. Um, personal hygiene. Now, I have known programmers that could use this list. <laughs> However, we don't all belong in the dark basement, and um, so the use of that list is not a requirement. Um, <laughs> understanding flowcharts is. You have to understand flowcharts, and typically, you also have to understand D&D. <laughs> not a requirement, but generally. <laughs> now, writing, computer, or writing code is a set of instructions. You're t giving computer, a computer instructions. They don't look like this. They're more like uh, lather, rinse, and repeat. That's what programming code is. It's, it's not the baby diapers. Much easier than that. So here's 99 bottles of beer. Is everybody ready for this one? So what you do is you take 99 bottles of beer, you take one down, you pass it around, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, right? This code looks like this when it's written, when it's executed. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I didn't have this much time on this one. There we go. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Take one down, pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. That's what that code does. We all love that, right? <laughs> um, so this slide's really boring, and it's really important if you ever want to understand code. Um, I'll be happy to tell you about it. But basically, properties are things about an object, and methods are actions the object takes. You've got to understand that to write code, but 15 seconds just is not long enough to explain it. You also have to know about debugging. That picture of that moth, that's where the term debugging comes from. I mean, depending on who you ask. There's a couple different stories. But in like 1940, um, some woman named Grace talked about code not running right, and there was a bug in the machine, and that's where debugging comes from. Anyway, <laughs> this is an actual, true, literal excuse. We're not joking. It's going to take time for the code to freaking compile. <laughs> so that's when we go look at XKCD. Um, yeah. <laughs> you have to understand some of these rules. Uh, the idea of single responsibility. This is an actual rule, but what I really like about it is that one of my favorite phrases is that just because you can does not mean that you should. Um, <laughs> again, I, I kind of love XKCD, right? Um, about 10 years ago, I decided that I was going to be a webmaster. That kind of embarrasses me now, and dear God, I was going to put the slide up and I forgot um, my very first website, but I kind of felt like that XKCD cartoon when that happened. I'm a lot better now. Um, anyway, I'm Saintless on Twitter. You can find me, it, it, Google Saintless. I'm all over. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.